Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. The weather is getting cold and my sinuses are going nuts right now, guys. So I cannot be on camera. But it is time to bring you another festive Friday holiday collaboration. We've made cone trees, we've done our wreaths, and we've even decorated the Christmas tree. And I'm telling you, getting the big projects out of the way makes it a whole lot easier. And today, we are going to work on the stairs. So let's get ready. Let's see who's joining me today. Two super talented ladies, the amazing Bree from Bree's Project Book and Kenya from Kenya's Decor Corner. Okay, so we're going to make a marriage of the cheapest blue garland on the planet. I got it at 90% off a couple of years ago from at home. And then this cheap green garland I got at 90% off, I think, from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. So when you put them together, it's going to be nice and thick. Yes, I considered flocking the green garland, but why? It's just going to act like a black curtain behind the main thing that's on stage, the blue garland. And yes, flocked trees and garland, they're very beautiful. But the cleanup, oh my goodness. Now that long utility orange cord is perfection. It is essential to a task like this. You can drag it up and down the stairs and connect lights or even your lighted garland to see if it's going to work before you connect it to your project. Saves you a lot of time. Now, in case you're wondering, why didn't I just spiral the two different colors together? Well, I would have lost a couple of feet of length because as they're spiraling, they're getting shorter. It's a good idea to put the two colors together, but look how dark it looks. We've got to add more light. Oh yeah, that's a big difference. Now these tinsel ties help me to identify where I have connected lighted garland or even strands of light. I purchased a lot of these picks from Joann's Fabric a couple of years ago. I mean, they were like 90% off and they still carry the same ones. You might want to go in there this weekend because you see here 70% off holiday. So check it out, guys. Now that the garland is doubled and a bit bushy, I'm able to just lay the ornaments on top of the garland, insert the picks, and that's it. It's just that simple. Now from here on out, it was all about achieving my daily steps goal. Okay, I don't want to over embellish, so I'm just giving this a once over, seeing if there are any empty spots, opportunities, definitely here on this corner, I can do something a little more dramatic there. And then coming on down to this bottom, I gave this area a little extra volume. I wanted to raise it up. This really does look like a wreath lying on the floor. I used some cut pieces of garland to add volume right here. It worked. There is a DIY that I am adding to this space. And now I'm satisfied with this corner. I 
I hope you're curious to know what Kenya and Bree have been up to this week. Those are two busy ladies this holiday season. So please click the playlist in the description box below or the i card in the top right hand corner. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. And remember to turn on your notifications by pressing the bell. That simply means you want to know when I have uploaded the very next video. Hope you're staying warm and safe out there. And as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.